What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about sway bar disconnects. Been getting a lot of questions about how to disconnect, manual disconnects on a factory lift Jeep up to a two to six inch lift. Um, today I wanna to show you how we manually disconnect them before we hit the trail to prevent bumpy roads, bumpy ride, and um, the tools and equipment you're gonna to need to disconnect these uh, sway bar disconnect linkages. So uh, in the tools for the lineup today, um, I use a crescent wrench, a 55, size 55 Torx bit, and some bungee cords, pretty simple. Today we have our assistant here, Charlie. She's gonna be doing it for us. It's that easy, guys. You're gonna go ahead and locate your sway bar disconnect. It's right here. Now the reason why we wanna disconnect this sway bar is so we have more tra travel from the wheel in the wheel well. And and we don't want a real bumpy ride when we're off-roading or getting onto the trail. This is a set collar that I added to it so it keeps the sway bar from shifting left and right um, when it's connected to the axle. Legally, we're supposed to have these bolted up to the axle, but uh, like I said, when we hit trails or bumpy roads, we, we like to disconnect this so our shocks and our coils can take over and the, the ride is much smoother. Locate your disconnect bolt. It's gonna be right here. Like I said, T T55 goes there, and then your crescent wrench. And I just like to crack it loose. Shouldn't be tight. If you have some WD-40 on hand, usually I keep some in my trail bag. We'll go ahead and grab some of that WD-40 now and start spraying it. And it's always good to have that stuff handy when you're on the trail or you're doing some off-roading. But pretty simple, you're gonna remove the nut and push out the bolt. What you can do is put the, put the, butt, put the nut back on, and just give it a little tap and just wiggle that, that nut out of there and it should come right out. Mine is a little bit rusted up, but that's okay. And there you go. We just removed the bolt and the nut to the disconnect. What I like to do is pull it forward like this. And then I'll take my bungee cord and I'll hook it onto here. And I'll just wrap it around. like this a few times once I have it wrapped I like to hook it on right there and it holds everything together in position and you'll just go ahead and repeat the same process for the other side hey guys so how do you feel about doing that manually with tools check this out there's another thing you can do is you can buy one of these for about $20 it has a spring-loaded pin. You pull the pin and it's a quick disconnect. It has two washers and a grade eight bolt pin with two holes for the JK or TJ sway bar disconnects. Come follow me, I'll show you how to, how to install it. Okay, so we're just gonna disconnect our bungee cord and totally remove the bungee cord. So now we have the link off. We're gonna first install our washer and then line up our disconnect and the sway bar. We're gonna push it through the hole and then through the bushing. Like so. And the hole will stick out and add your washer and the pin and spring. Another thing I would like to note is it's much easier to get this bolt in and out if you have the vehicle on level ground. There's a metal bushing or metal spacer. It has a line down the middle. You can see that. You might wanna take some sandpaper, clean this up real good with some WD-40 and open this up just enough so that your pin slips easily in and out. So when you go to disconnect this thing, it's trouble free. It just slips in and out and when, when you're on the trail, you're not gonna have issues. You should always bring some tools just in case this stuff binds up or 
you're not on a level ground and you start having issues but uh, in this in this case I got it I've got that spacer all cleaned up and uh, we're good so I'm just basically gonna slip it through like so through the hole with the with the washer slip it through the bushing and out and then you'll see two holes and we'll just go ahead and set it on the hole that's available and with my ring pin here we're gonna slip it through and I'm gonna turn it up into the upright position and then I'll set it down and it snaps in, in place and locks this pin into position so now we have our disconnect um, all done ready to go okay so I'm gonna show you how easy it is to disconnect this now just pull up slide the pin out push the pin out and you don't want to drop the washer like I did but uh, it's that quick guys and you, you can purchase these quick disconnect pins on eBay for about 20 bucks pretty cheap and um, like I said I, I think they're worth it if you're on the trail a lot you need to remove them on and off this is a good idea um, and it's a really really simple design here Hey guys, if you like that video about the manual disconnects, hey, check out some of my other videos that may be helpful to you and consider subscribing, hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.